eight yard line. Trying to get something going on offense. And now they pull the red, the Mustangs off. That's gonna be an offside. And that, that's gonna bring up a second down and about one now for the Red Raiders. Mark off five against the Mustangs. Looked like PJ Savini was a little anxious again. We can't hear up here about the hard count, but Uniontown's gonna have to use everything it's got, Gary. Well, the Mustang defense just has to be disciplined. Don't worry about the hard count, just uh, keep your eye on the ball for the snap. Coming in now for the Mustangs, number 53, that's Keyshawn Ramsey. In He's a big Savini. boy at nose tackle. Under center now for the first time. It's mostly ball on the, on the ground and he has to fall on it, but he may have fall, fallen on it far enough for the first down. So let's see where the ball's marked. And it is a first down for the Red Raiders. Wow, so that's a break. That could have been a disaster, turns into a first down. <laughs> so that's the first first down of the first half for the Red Raiders. On the fumble. Moves it out to the 34-yard line, first and 10. I don't think they can be picky right now. That may start something for them. Receivers wide, left and right for the Red Raiders. Inside handoff on the trap play. That's the fullback. Let's see who got that carry. Number 21 for the Red Raiders. That's Nick Gibson. Tackled by Petrus. Petrus on the tackle and... There's Mrs. Frank right in front of us. <laughs> it's a big crowd here tonight. Oh, she this might is have been amazing. In line for half I'll an tell you what, this is in. impressive. There's standing room only all the way around the fences, up the field, down at the uh, snack bar. Here's a flag on the play as Howard takes it off left side, and he's going to have the first down depending on the call. Malachi Howard on a nice run of about 10 yards, but Official's going to call illegal motion against the Red Raiders. For so the that's record, going to nullify a nice run by Howard. For the record, that tackle was by Sloboda. That's going to push it back to second and ten, I believe. That'll take the ball back now to the 34 yard line. So just when the Red Raiders had something going shoot themselves in a the foot with a illegal procedure call. Would have been a first down in close to Mustang territory. Double receivers to the left, wide receiver to the right for the Red Raiders. And again, the Mustangs are drawn offside and that's just not acceptable. That's the third time now that the Mustangs have been drawn offside. This time it's Dakota Makita. Dead ball. They're going to call this on the Raiders, so the Raiders must have moved first. Yeah, the left tackle jumped. It was pretty close. So I apologize to Dakota. He was drawn off. That's going to bring up second and 15. Now from the Mustang side, they have uh, Yawk next week, and they need to keep their game consistent and error free. Uniontown now looking at a second down and 15. Mosley in the shotgun. Barking signals. Mustangs almost jump, but now in the backfield quickly grabbing Howard is, that's Makita again. Number 22, Malachi Howard stopped for a loss by the Mustangs. Number five, Dakota Makita. That's another loss on the play. Brings up third down and about 20. Third and 19. Make it third and 19. As the Red Raiders, after showing some life, are now in reverse. Well, the Mustangs are playing good, consistent football. They're, they're taking care of their assignments. Everybody's doing a good job for the, Mus for the Laurel Highlands. Big play again. Go now Outside, we got another penalty, side. and this is just getting a little bit out of hand with the penalties, but it's going to be a call this time. Is it the Raiders again? Dead ball, offside against the Mustangs. I think they oh. lined up offside this time. Well, they got so away back and one. forth we go with the penalties. Looked like Mark Fike jumped on that on the left side. The Mustangs were lined up offside, so it, it really wouldn't have mattered. 
Brings up third down and 13. Two receivers to the near side. Mosley's going to have to put it up, I believe. And now another penalty. Holy mackerel. Flags are all over the place. I couldn't. It looked like a receiver on the right side that time. Mustangs could get called again. Wow. wow. Come on. This is not what Coach Just is looking for, especially with the game at the point of 9-11 to go here in the second. Leading 19 to nothing. No need to be over anxious on those plays. So a quick 15 yards for the Red Raiders by penalties brings up third down and seven. Will we get a playoff? No, we will not. Unbelievable. Jacob Schwartz. That's going to be another five yards. That's going to be 20 yards in four consecutive plays. The Mustangs have handed the Red Raiders. He's going to have a timeout. Coach is not happy. <laughs> and while he goes out to direct this defense, we're going to take a timeout on the South Union Township Sports Network. Now we're back, third down and two after 20 yards and penalties against the Mustangs. Mosley up under center. He's gonna take it himself, another penalty. How about that? We can't get any kind of football action going here with the flags <laughs> flying on five consecutive plays. And the clock hasn't moved. And we are still at 8.54 to go here in the second. Another offside against the Mustangs. How? That's a Uniontown first down. 25 yards and not a second. Five straight plays, clock. five straight penalties. That just can't happen, Rick. What? Were four of them lined up offside out of the five? I think, I think you're right. We got one Here's off. Howard now. Around the left side, breaks a couple tackles, but the Mustangs swarm on him. There on the left side, Sloboda. Chad Petrus also on the tackle. Edenfield changed the play, and Petrus wrapped him up. Swartz also over there for the Mustang. Gain of about one, second down and nine. We got a playoff with no penalty. Second and nine at the Red Raider 48-yard line. And there's a fake handoff. Nobody to fake it Looks to. Like Mosley's in trouble now, trying to get it around. He's going to throw it deep, has a man open, and that's caught inside Mustang territory deep down to the 22-yard line. That was number 18, Ramella Freeman. It looked Ramella like. Ramella Freeman. It looked like a broken play, like. Mosley was supposed to fake it, but there was no one to fake it to. And after that, the Mustang defense just kind of tried to swarm after him, and everyone lost their deep containment. Yeah, Fry, when he, he was out in the flat, and when he saw that uh, Mosley was running, he went down the field, but he didn't catch the ball. Here we go. Mosley now handles uh, fake hands off and takes it himself, following his lead back up to about the 11-yard line. Tackled by Petrus again. Petrus. Swartz and Edenfield in on the tackle also. Down to the 16. Raiders threatening inside Mustang territory. 7-14 to go. Mustangs leading 19 to nothing. Well, they can look back on those five penalties in a row. 
Just they handed him, him a life. continuation of the drive. And gave him life. Looks like momentum has shifted somewhat to the Red Raiders based on that. Now threatening a blitz. This is Mosley. He's going to be caught in the backfield this time. He's going to lose three, maybe four. Tackle there by number 59 for the Mustangs. They gave him forward progress. He lost a couple. Cody Christopher and Ramsey also in on the tackle for the Mustangs. Loss of a couple. Third down and seven or eight to go. Ball out near the 19-yard line. Near the 19-yard line. I'm not familiar with the kicker for the Red Raiders, so I'm not sure. It's Josiah Davis. He's oh, a he's a soccer, soccer player. player. I watched him last night. The Uniontown Laurel Highlands soccer game. Third down, and now we have another. That was the Red Raiders moving that time. What do we got? On the left side, it looked like Kane Fry jumped. But then but, on the left side of, yeah, but yeah. the Mustangs left side of the line moved too, and they're going to call that on the Mustangs. Looked like Lucas Boyle. So... Red Raiders bailed out on that one, and this is really getting to be curious as to why the Mustangs cannot just wait for the snap of the ball. They don't need to be overly aggressive. That's going to be a big five yards down to the 14-yard line, third and three. 30, 30 yards of penalties on this drive. Another 55 yards of, of a drive. Third and three, Mosley. Steps back, looks over the middle, now has pressure, gets it away, and that's going to be caught at about the five-yard line. It's going to be a Forsyth. first down. Forsyth with the catch. Nice pass and catch from Mosley to Forsyth down to the five-yard line. That gives the Red Raiders a first and goal at the five. Coming into the game, he was the Red Raiders' leading receiver. Nice concept of a play coming out of that tight end position, just squares it out to the side. Mustangs unable to keep good contact with him. Now look for Howard and Mosley to power it up the middle here. Here's Howard, and he's going to be hit in the backfield, but he spins away from one tackle, gets inside the five to about the three. Tackled by Edenfield. Edenfield, but they had him for a loss, and he's going to be all the way down to about the two. Second and goal. Line, second goal three. It looked like Mickens had some penetration there and forced him to change his, his uh, nice route. Nice spin move by Howard, eliminated that tackle opportunity. Mosley up under center. They're just going to try to push it ahead, and the Mustangs have a little bit of control on that, and they're going to stop him at about the one-half yard line. Now they call That's it a, a touchdown. touchdown. Late call, touchdown for Mosley. Quarterback keeper pushes it in for the Red Raiders score at the 4.55 mark of the second quarter. Cuts that Mustang lead to 19-6. On for the kick is Josiah Davis. Besides not being happy about the penalties, they can't be happy about running that quarterback keeper right up the middle. Here's a snap. Davis gets it away, and it is no good. It's a lot of trouble with extra points here this evening on both sides. 4.55 to go in the second. Mustangs 19, Red Raiders 6, back on the South Union Township Sports Network after these messages. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you'll take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them. to Mustang Field here on Homecoming and Spirit Night. Big crowd on hand for the festivities both from Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. Uniontown picking up a touchdown here in the second quarter. 
gaining some confidence and momentum. It's teeing it up for Uniontown, Josiah Davis, deep for the Mustangs, Livingston and Boyle. Davis on the run up, he'll hit a low dribbler up the field, and that's picked up at about the 30 and wide open up the middle. One man to beat, and he sidesteps one, but he's gonna be drugged down inside the 30 yard line. That's number 20. Number 28 for the Mustangs, nice pickup. Brandon Eisler took it all the way into the Red Raider territory at the 28, but Josiah Davis, the kicker, had to be the last point of defense to stop that from being a return for six. Now up the middle again, faked, and now Pierce around the left side, needs one block, gets around the end, and takes it inside the 15 to about the 14. That's gonna be a quick 11 for the Mustangs and a first down. I know one of my favorite things is downfield blocking, but Ian Nedenfield is one of the better high school downfield blockers that I see. There's no stat for that. It just takes concentration and determination and but good discipline. But it's really important. Absolutely. Up the middle is Jones, I believe, down to about the 10. Give him five on the carry, second and five at the 10. Tackled by Josh Perkins. Game of five on the play. Second and five. Quickly to the line. Here's the cross buck around the left end. Looks like Sloboda, and he's going to be inside the five to about the three. That is Sloboda. Give him to the two and a half for a Mustang first and goal. Gibson on the stop there. Good ball handling by Jimmy Pierce. It's just hard for the defense to find it after he makes two fakes and then hands it off to the wingback coming around on the cross buck. Now another whistle, what do we got? Timeout, Uniontown. Shoo. It's with first and goal <laughs> at the two and a half. It's a timeout on defense for the Red Raiders, trailing 19 to six. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network after these messages from our sponsors. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Here we go after the Uniontown defensive timeout. First and goal at the two and a 